hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you're doing well today we are having a sad story time which contradicts the way i am acting right now because i am all smiley and happy it's in the past so i am recalling this story out of the place i was at that moment it's been a while i did a story time and i have so so many stories to share i'll film them okay i'll just do that so today i am sharing you have seen the title, you have seen the thumbnail How my phone was stolen in Yaoundé You may want to visit Yaoundé You may be coming to Yaoundé and you don't know this about Yaoundé mm? This town is dangerous This town is dangerous I always hear stories of how people were aggressive People were... What's aggressive in English? People were harassed and stuff like that And I was like Oh please, I am careful, this kind of thing cannot happen to me until this day. Hi, let me just share the story with you all. It was a Sunday and you would think that some people are keeping the Sabbath holy. No, no, they are not keeping the Sabbath holy. Thieves are not keeping the Sabbath holy. Alright, so it was a Sunday. I had to visit a friend whose wife put to birth at Ekie in Yaoundé. So I left Swa that Sunday, dropped at Kame, I strolled down to Post Central and I was looking for a taxi because while I was at, at Kame, I kept saying, AK, thanks, no taxi will take me, it was so, so frustrating. So I decided to move down again and ask maybe I could get a taxi from down. Before going down to, you know where Select Plus is? I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay. I decided to stop at Mache Fundi. Mache Fundi is just opposite Kame. I decided to stop at Mache Fundi. I got some fruits. I wanted to go give, you know, the new mother. So I was carrying a big bag. I kept stopping taxis, and no taxi would take me. Finally, finally, after struggling to take a taxi for a long, long time, I was so so tired frustrated and that place is not a very safe place so i was really really looking forward to getting out of that place a taxi finally stopped now this taxi had three people behind because we carried three people behind and two in front it had three people behind and then the guy who was in front was a fat was a man that was you know he was he occupied space and he had weight he was he mattered Okay, so this guy was big. I was not even thinking about it because I had been standing in that place I've been standing there for a very long time and I just wanted to get out I don't even know where AK is. Okay, so while I, while I kept saying AK in my mind I was like maybe I'm not pronouncing this thing very well So when the taxi stopped to pick me I took the bag I had the shopping bag that was full of fruit I wanted to put the shopping bag behind you know in the boot and the taxi driver was like Oh no, my sherry, son of blah blah blah. It was like the boot won't open, I should bring it and sit in front with it. I was not thinking, okay? Because normally, no taxi driver would want to feel, you know, the front of their car. They wouldn't want to put like too many people in it. So I got into the taxi, I put the bag of fruits where my legs are. And then the guy, the fat guy, he was so nice. So nice, he was like... Okay, come we are come on a toast here. If you come bouge un peu. We're trying to bouge un peu. He was like, okay, do you know what I would do? I would put I should put my hand behind. I should put my hand like over him and then you know so that we could be more comfortable. Was that it? Or that he could he he had to put his hand over me. Something like that. Now that I am thinking about it, I'm like, oh, the red flags. Red flags. So, as we're trying to move, like this is the purse I held that day. And it comes, it was like this, okay? So, what I did was, I just closed like this. I did not zip, I did not zip up. So, as he was doing the, okay, I was the one sitting behind. So, he pushed me behind. And then, yeah, it was some, it was some weird movement. So my bag was on me and now during while I sat with him I could still feel the guy shaking he was shaking he had a big file he had a file on his hand he was holding a, a black file so he took the file he put it over my bag and so apparently the bag was now like this and then the file was on it so he was like oh well very oh my sister 
it's a very good Sunday. We have to be comfortable, you know. As we are like this, when we don't have cars, we have to be, we have to tolerate some things, and then until we get our cars, I was like. <laughs> so while he was doing that, this guy opened my purse. He took out my phone. I did not know. It's only later that I got to know. So the taxi went round Post Central, and he was going towards. You know where you're going to? Is it Vogada? The the road that goes to Van. Because apparently uh, AK goes AK is about the same road too. So the taxi drove now and the man just stopped. Like the driver just stopped in front of Ac Acropole Bakery. And he was like, he was like, my ma le, le police de van va nous déranger. Comme on est trop serré comme ça. So this is what he was saying. My sister, the police in front, they are going to disturb us because we are so, we are sardines. We, we are tied together don't pay me the money just go down take your bags and then find a taxi i was not really understanding i did not really understand so apparently what happened is the driver and the guy in front they come like when my phone was taken out the driver and the guy communicated and the guy was like okay since we're taking the phone let, let's just drop her here and then we can continue with our theft mission on sunday not keeping the sabbath holy okay so the first thing i did before going down the taxi because throughout it was a very short ride it was like three minutes if you know post and car to, to acropole it's not far when you just finish that roundabout it's just like a second you get to acropole i was like this was not the most comfortable ride ever there's all shades of fishy about this you know what I'm going to check my bag first. I will check my bag first before I go down. So it's like, okay, if for this Sunday, before this Sunday, before going down, the first thing I did was I opened my bag. As I opened my bag, I was like, my phone. My phone. The man just, the man was just like, the fat man, because we're tight, he was just like, c'est pour toi ici, c'est pour toi ici. He took like that. C'est pour toi ici. I took it. I put it in my bag and then I took my big bag and came down see at at that point i still did not i still did not understand okay that this was a low budget robbery attempt <laughs> i still did not understand so when i sat there for a while i was like wait wait what just happened to me these guys picked me just here they know very well that there's going to be police in front but they pick me here knowing that we are tight none of we know small are fat the man too fat but you still pick the two of us you put us in front and then with the bag like it just it just started making sense it was all well calculated and then the file thing that he was having those are just props for their robbery that guy was wearing a suit though he was wearing a suit it's not like he had some kind of hair and then he was just dressed anyhow he wore a suit even though he was there like that so i i just understood that it's a system and now that i am talking i'm like okay maybe the three people behind two are part of the gang because they still if they still a phone that costs a hundred thousand francs they still a phone that cost two hundred thousand francs. They go and sell it for seventy thousand francs, and then there are five, there are four of them. They share it, you know that, that even if it's twenty thousand francs or fifteen thousand or fifteen thousand francs, that's some amount of money for not doing any work, for just going around your own day and carrying people and stealing from them. When I got down that day, I just felt how the Holy Spirit led me to put my hand in my bag to check if everything was there. If that guy took my purse, I will not notice, but. I work a lot with my phone like my phone is is the first thing that I look at because my phone has my work my phone has my direction my phone has my contacts you see so if he had taken my purse I probably would not have noticed you see but he touched my phone and I'm not going down I'm not going down any taxi without checking for my phone okay so when I just did that he gave me the phone there are people that have been more vigilant and then they lost stuff so to me it's just the holy spirit that led me to do that and uh, it's just my angels it's just the angels around me that made the man to give me the phone like when i said my phone i remember when i was back in swa 
my friend Celeste, she like she was one of the first people that got a Samsung Galaxy phone. My God, we're looking at it, it was like magic. She got into a taxi one day and people she was she was harassed in the taxi and a gun was pointed at her or is it a knife something like that so i feel like it's just it's just the angels around me that got to restrict those guys from not doing harm because they would have pushed me and harmed me which is very very common when i went to bamenda to do mangui's makeup she told me about a guy that carried her to her house and then the guy decided to take a road that his friends were there waiting for him his friends bandits they carried that road and then when he went and reached the place where the people were bike was slowing down mommy was like why are you slowing down and then it's all part of the plan but i'm not going to tell you that it's all part of the plan so i'm going to be like oh the moto is doing something 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 there's lots of insecurity in this place there's lots of organized petty 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 organized crimes be very very careful when you take taxis bikes in, in fact if you can avoid it just avoid it to not move around in the night because people are lurking like people are in dark corners with knives they are waiting for you to come back from that your place that you went to in the night to hurt you to harm you and take your money so just be very 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 careful before going out just Pray that God helps you to go out and to come back safely. It's by the help of God that we go out and we come back safe. Okay, so this is me sharing my story with you and saying that Yaounde is not a very safe place. Okay, Yaounde be dangerous. Trust nobody, suspect everybody. I don't blame people for disappointing you. I blame yourself for trusting them. Trust nobody. Suspect every <laughs> suspect every taxi. Avoid sitting. If you ask me, I'll tell you just be led by the spirit of God to enter taxis because you can even take a depot and they do you bad. They do you harm. Okay? So be led by the spirit of God as you are in Yawunde. I don't know about other towns. I haven't experienced Mm -mm. How have I not experienced it? I've experienced burglary in Duala. <laughs> I've experienced burglary in Duala. Oh my god. That story for another day. Anyways, we have come to the end of this video. And this video is the story of how my phone was stolen from me and then given back to me. Like, there, there. Because if they took my phone, I don't know where I would have been. Wow money that i want to take to do something else i will take it to buy phone and it's going to pain me okay all right guys thank you for watching this video i will see you all in the next one and please if you have stories like that things that have happened to you you know going out and you got confronted by this men who don't keep the sabbath holy men who don't fear god please drop it in the comment section so that somebody can learn and just advise somebody in the comment section and i will see you all in the next video bye bye